Mark and Marjorie are two people who just get it. If I had to describe them in one word, it would probably be committed. They're committed to each other, to their family, clearly to this synagogue, Mark to the JCC, Margie with incredible efforts to JFCS over the years. They give so much of their time and they give so generously and we are so fortunate to have them as part of the TBS community. Mark and Margie have been wonderful friends and supporters and confidants since I got here at TBS. Margie, of course, has been very active here. During my time, she was a vice president. She chaired our Why It Matters capital campaign. She served as president as well. And is someone who I can always count on for advice and for perspective and who just loves and cares about the synagogue so much. And Mark, of course, has been a great leader in our community at the JCC in other ways as well but I know also he very much cares about TBS. When I think about Margie when she was president, not only was it this sort of can-do attitude, but she just has this sort of sunny, cheery disposition that she brought to every meeting, every project, every gathering, that she just, she was just so happy to be here at TBS. Mark is an incredible leader in our community, certainly as JCC president, and I, I think back to 2014 when he chaired the Maccabi Games when they were located here in Cherry Hill. And what enthusiasm, what an incredible way to bring the community together. I know personally he inspired us, his leadership in getting involved and hosting some of the teams for the Maccabi Games. And I think of the many different ways that he and Margie together have built community. I first worked with Margie a few years back on our capital campaign, and I remember listening to Margie explaining all of our goals for the project and how we were going to interface with the community and explain why this mattered. And that was the name of the capital campaign, Why It Matters. And Margie was so passionate and incredibly gifted at communicating all of the wonderful things that TBS had to offer and what the synagogue meant to her family. Margie could speak to TBS's needs and why she as a layperson was so committed to the project and felt that it was so important for the future of the congregation. As a person who was still raising children here at the congregation and as an individual who had been involved for a long period of time, she brought that credibility to our discussions with prospective donors. One of the ways I've gotten to know both uh, Margie and Mark is through staying with them at the shore when we do have Doll at the Beach. And the way they open their house is exactly how open they are as people. I joined TBS about 20 years ago, and a small group of us were trying to start the young members group here, and there were just maybe four of us, and one of those four was Mark Dannenbaum. We were a fledgling group, we really didn't have any support, but when we started planning our events, everyone had a role, and I believe Mark's role was to go out and get the paper goods and the beverages. And that was his job, and he was really instrumental in helping us get the Young Members Group off the ground here at TBS. Margie was one of the first people that I met from TBS. I walked into that interview room. She's the first face that I remember seeing as I walked into what could have been a very intimidating room, um, but actually it was it, people like Margie, and especially Margie, who, who really broke down those barriers. Margie exudes kindness and warmth and generosity, and she immediately, through the questions that she asked, the smile on her face, through the fact that she immediately shook my hand and welcomed me, really put me at ease in, in what could have been a bit of a stressful, stressful moment. I first got to know Margie right when I got here at CBS. Uh, she was uh, one of the executive officers when I came here and really helped shape our educational programs. When we start thinking about congregational education and what does that mean and how do we engage the family, Margie was really instrumental in helping us rethink how we work with our families here at CBS. Margie and Mark were very dedicated to the Early Childhood Center. Margie was always involved, but not only involved, a deep excitement. 
She loved seeing what was going on, not only for her own kids, but when her children outgrew the school in all her different roles at TBS. She was genuinely happy to hear the things going on, and you could see the excitement on her face. I think Mark and Margie just have a deep commitment to the Jewish community. They understand that for a community to run, for a community to be successful, a community to thrive, it takes support, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes resources. They're two people that are very, very much committed to that and have been and I'm sure will continue to be. And I've had the pleasure of watching all four of their kids grow up at TBS and traveling with all four of them on our confirmation class Israel trip. And it's clear to me that their lessons of involvement have really been passed on to their children as well, and especially to Evan who went to Michigan. So he, uh, he really got the message, I think. The other thing that I so appreciate about the Dannenbaums is our shared love of the Eagles. I shared it in my interview at JTS and I remember specifically my weekend here that I was talking to Mark and Margie at the Kiddush after services and they say, you realize that you're in Eagles territory now, you're in Eagles country. And it's, it's a special bond that we've shared. There's not a Kiddush that goes by that we don't talk about the Eagles. Like with any president, there are challenges and there are successes that come up when you're president. Margie had her share of challenges, perhaps more than her fair share of challenges, but the way she was able to keep perspective, the way she was able to stay calm during all of it and offer wisdom and guidance, really I think helped set us up for the future and help move us forward. It was under Margie that we set up our strategic planning process, and which really has helped guide us over the last five years. And I think it's a process that has led us to be more financially sustainable, helped us to engage more people. I and mean, that's something else that Marge I know cares so much about. She continues to help out with our stewardship program because at the core, I think for Margie, it's really about helping bring people close to TBS and to help them see how much we care about them and hope that they care about us as well. It's really special to have people like them in this community, to have a couple like that who's so dedicated, so generous, so invested, and so passionate in the future of TBS. You need that, and it's, it's so invaluable, and they're just such amazing examples of that. And also just examples of people who love to be in shul. I can look out at High Holidays, I know exactly where they're going to be sitting. I know they're both going to be singing along at every opportunity, especially Mark. I think they truly love to be here, and I think they find it a meaningful part of their week, a part of their lives.